this is a absolutely amazing technology. We've gotten to, you know, develop advanced RAG and prompt engineering solutions on top of it. Um, but it's still not enough. These models, when they're general, um, they're optimizing for what's known as generalization error or the average error across all examples it sees on the internet. Mm -hmm. And as a result, it's pretty good at everything, but it's perfect at nothing. And despite our flaws, Matt, you and I were actually perfect at some things. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> yes, I remember your name. You remember mine, I presumably. Yes. Um, and uh, mm. your own birthday, maybe. And um, maybe revenue number last quarter. I remember. I remember. Um, uh, you know the you know liability number in my insurance claim, for example, if I were an insurance company. So. I want the LLM to remember these facts with crisp accuracy, right? With factual accuracy where there's no alternative at all. And so memory tuning does that. It essentially, uh, we say, you know, brings a loss to zero. So it brings a loss to zero on um, all of these facts so that there is no alternative. It cannot even pick something that is similar. So something slightly correct um, is incorrect as opposed to being oh, kind of similar. Let me maybe consider that. Mm. Um, so memory tuning is a technique to do that. Um, it's very computationally expensive to run memory tuning. So uh, we've uh, essentially optimized it so that it is computationally feasible um, by, and this might get a little bit technical, but turning um, an open open source model, any kind of open model, um, and tuning the adapter. So tuning like a LoRa, QLoRa, et cetera, on top of the model. Um, and tuning it in such a way that it's a mixture of experts. So a mixture of expert adapters. I think there's been a trend of mixture of experts. GPD-4, uh, Mixtral are all a mixture of experts. Those are eight experts so that you can train a bigger model. Um, but then when you run it, only uses part of the model, one of the experts, and one of the one eighth of it. Um, what memory tuning is doing is taking that to the extreme and instead and doing it on the adapter side of things. So doing it on top of the model um, with LoRa's. Uh, and we tune these memory experts and we have uh, a million memory experts or more, right? And so the idea is like instead of eight, now you have a million um, and uh, you essentially get a sparsely activated, heavily sparsely activated model. So you can get a, a credibly, you can scale the model to be incredibly large. Um, I even think there's a future where these models can be a hundred billion parameters, but at, you know, have that intelligence of a hundred billion parameters, but then have the speed, latency, and cost of something that's still 1 billion or 7 billion parameters. Um, so very, very fast because it's only using part of its brain, right, mm -hmm. when it's responding to you. Um, kind of like how we <laughs> how we operate. So uh, I, I think that's that's a trend, and we just took that to the extreme, and it's um, highly effective uh, for for bringing that loss to zero um, in, in a reasonable amount of time, such as a couple hours. 